Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. This little video is going to be about when somebody sends you the picture of a piece of wood that they want to uh, engrave on, and you can see this picture was taken at an angle, and to get it to look like you're taking it right overhead uh, so you can literally show the customer what it's going to be like, I always make a copy of it in case I mess up. And with that selected, I'm going to hit the crop tool. And I'm going to crop out this picture, making sure I get all of it. I need to get all the wood. And then I'm going to go crop. Then what we can do is take the shape tool and actually crop this closer to the shape of the wood. And you can see the angle that it was taken at, which is, you know, if I was going to take the picture, I'd do a better job. Now, I know the wood is 28 and a half inches, so now we can take this and make it with our ratio locked. 28, it's actually 28.5, they said. Let me get these other stuff out of the way. And so now you have the piece of wood, the size it is, but you can see it's a little bit of a slant. So we can bring in the indexing line and you can see it's that far off. If we rotate it and move our center rotation to there, we can actually level out the picture. Let me zoom in a little bit. So double click on it and then grab that corner. I need to make sure I've got snap two guidelines on it. I don't, so it would help if I did. Now, the picture is still taken at an angle. Well, we know that this bottom is 28 and a half, or roughly. We'll get out the parallel dimension tool and go from that node to that node, and it's 28.5 exactly. I did a good job on that. Let's just take that away. But now we need to get this top part equal. So bring in some guidelines and have them snap to that corner of that picture. And then click on your piece of wood picture. Go to Object Perspective, Add a New Perspective. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And grab the... Go back to the perspective tool. And get the shape tool and actually take this corner and move it outward. And you can see now the board is closer to real size. Then all you have to do is take your logo. And so you could take this and hit P, put it in the center of the page. Then take your logo, center of the page, object, order, front of page, and then you could send that to the customer. Uh, the piece of tape she told me was designated for the side they, the customer wanted on. So that's how I would do it. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching.